Hey everyone, my name is James and welcome back to Chippy Gaming. So it's autumn, which now means it's officially the best time of the year to pick up and replay Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley is one of my favorite games of all time, but I don't get to talk about it all that often. However, I do make it my mission every single year here on the channel to make a giant news video talking about everything we know about the next version of Stardew Valley. This year, we're gonna be getting Stardew Valley 1.5. So I went back over every tweet from 2020, every Reddit comment, forum thread response, and I've put together one giant video that should give you a pretty good idea about what we're getting in the next update. So with that out of the way, let's begin. So Stardew Valley 1.5 was announced back in February of this year when Concerned Ape was celebrating the game's four year anniversary. He said, I'd like to announce that there will be another free content update, 1.5, and it's currently in the works. Later that day, he said that the update will have lots of new content and then once again confirmed that it will be free. And leaning into that new content, we did get a kind of rough overview of the update. So let's talk about that before we get into the specifics. Back in June, he said he's not ready to give too many details yet, but it's going to be a blend of trying to address some common requests from players, as well as some new content and hopefully some general quality of life features and improvements as well. And then in terms of a release date, the last bit of information we got was back in May when Concerned Ape did say that the update will be sometime this year. All right, so let's talk about everything that's new or potentially new in the next update using a variety of tweets and a lot of fan questions that were asked to Concerned Ape. So starting with this one, he was tweeted, will we get better outdoor decoration? Concerned Ape responded that it's actually possible in the next update. A fan put forward a suggestion. He said, yo, is it possible to get a random option on the jukebox in Stardew? I don't always want the exact same song playing when I walk into my house. Concerned Ape responded, cool idea. Yeah, I think that should be possible. So this one sounds small, but it's one of those ones that's a lot bigger when you actually think about it. So back in August, Concerned Ape did tweet that in update 1.5, you can now move your bed. Another fan tweeted the developer and said, do you have future plans on putting more unique interaction with spouses and the child, or at least added animations? For example, watering the crops, feeding the animals, just to be a little bit more realistic. Sorry to nitpick, great game. Uh, Concerned Ape responded, this is the most popular request so far, so it's definitely something I'm thinking about for the next update. So to expand on this a little bit, we did see another tweet in a similar vein. Liz tweeted, do you think in a future update, our kids could grow up a little bit more? Like they go with Penny for schooling, play at the park, take them to the movies, etc." And Concerned Ape responded, yes, it's possible the kids could be expanded a little. So it seems like fans of Stardew Valley would really like to see some of the characters maybe age a little, but Concerned Ape did actually tweet back in August the extent that he would potentially take that. So somebody tweeted, do you intend to make characters including our age and the children grow up? Concerned Ape responded, children possibly, but for the character, no. I can't assume what the player's character's age is, so I wouldn't know how to age them. Also for NPCs, that would be a huge amount of work and to be realistic might require me to do things I don't want to do, like NPCs passing away. And that is a great point. If you start aging things, when do you stop? You know, are we going to be seeing a little gravestone for Shane? Hopefully not. I mean, I don't want to see that. And clearly neither does Concerned Ape. So we saw another tweet that said, will we have a better way to acquire hardwood? Getting only 12 a day, even with a lot of money, is boring as hell. Concerned Ape responded, yeah, in the next update, there will be another way to acquire hardwood. So we mentioned beds earlier, but Concerned Ape also wrote on Reddit that there will be a way to remove cribs in the next update. So back in April, Concerned Ape held a poll on Twitter that would allow fans to vote on what tree might potentially come to Stardew Valley. The options were an avocado tree, a banana tree, a mango tree, and a passion fruit tree. So after over 120,000 votes, we did find out that banana was the winner, and it looks like mango is the runner up. So this might mean that we get both. And here is a little screenshot to show you what banana trees look like. 
These look so cool. Back in July, we got another screenshot of the update alongside a tweet. The tweet read that progress on the update is coming along steadily. It's still in a nose to the grindstone phase, but some good milestones have been met. This update adds a significant new piece of endgame content and much more. And in this screenshot, we can see that a door has been added to the back of Willy's shop. So that might mean a little bit of NPC interaction going on back there. Maybe some kind of new mini game. I don't know, but I'm really excited. I want to know what's behind that door. So back in September, we got yet another screenshot of the update and quite a lot is going on here. So this is clearly a new portion of the map. So it's kind of unsure exactly where this is. You can see that there are ducks just kind of hanging around. Now, these might actually be wild ducks or they may be part of the ducks that you raise on your farm. So this could be a corner of a farm. I don't really know, but it shows a few things. For one, wild ducks are around, but it also shows that you can place furniture outdoors now. Because that player is seen sat on a chair, it also means that you can sit on chairs, kind of like you could in Terraria 1.4. Now I've got to give major credit to this response to that tweet. This had me howling. Somebody responded, finally flooding. I'm so excited to see several of the residents of Pelican Town drown to death. So I'm pretty sure that this is uh, dangerously funny in disguise and I don't think you can argue that. So just like every update we've ever had for Stardew Valley, Concerned Ape is pretty reserved when it comes to giving out spoilers or potential release dates. So that is actually currently everything we know about Stardew Valley and everything we've seen over the past eight months. Now, I did want to throw this into the end because I thought it would give you maybe a little bit more reason to come back. Somebody tweeted the developer and said, is it true that there are still more secrets in Stardew Valley that no one has discovered yet? Concerned Ape did respond, I think this is currently true. Yeah, I do love a good Easter egg and hopefully one day, Stardew Valley fans will be able to find every single one of them. So for those that are watching me for the very first time, you may not know that this is a primarily Terraria channel. So I also wanted to include this. I thought this was just so sweet and the crossover, I think we all wanted to see. So Andrew actually tweeted back in April that Terraria Journey's End will launch on PC May 16th, 2020. And in his responses was a lovely tweet from Concerned Ape that said, can't wait, I'll see you in the 1.4 Clubhouse. I didn't know that Concerned Ape liked Terraria, that's incredible. And, uh, and hopefully in the future, I mean, seriously, fingers crossed, we can see a small collaboration between these two absolute giants of the indie world. I think that would be just amazing. So you never know, could happen, could not happen. I mean, we're getting the final update in a couple of weeks, so maybe not. Right, okay. Uh, so if you are new, uh, do consider maybe subscribing if you enjoyed this news video. If you're a returning person, hey, hi. Uh, give the video a big fat thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And that is about it. Right, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.